The Ring Video Doorbell 3 just came out, but how does it compare to the Doorbell 2? That is what we're gonna be looking at in today's video, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Ring is probably the most popular video doorbell out there. About a year ago, I did a deep dive on their Ring Video Doorbell 2. I'll link it above if you guys want to check that out. But with it being such a popular camera, I was really excited for them to come out with a new version. And when they made the announcement last month, they actually came out with four new products. They have got the Doorbell 3, the 3 Plus, and then they also have a new Chime and Chime Pro. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus and the Chime Pro. I'll be following up this video by comparing this device to other video doorbells out there. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, shameless promotion, I did a video, five tips to get more out of your Ring video doorbell. I will link that at the end of this video if you guys want to check that out. Those will apply to the video doorbell two and three. With that said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I want to talk about what the video doorbell three and two both come with. So they both come with the same camera. So they both shoot 1080p and have a two megapixel camera sensor. They've also got removable batteries, motion alerts, two-way audio, 160 degree viewing angle, and 180 degree motion sensor angle. So that way it starts picking up motion before the video can actually capture it, which is good at getting the camera to turn on a little sooner. Both cameras have an operating temperature of negative five degrees all the way up to 120 degrees, and they both connect to the 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection. So that is everything that the Doorbell 3 and the Doorbell 2 have in common. Now the improvements with the 3 is that the 3 also has improved motion sensitivity. So with the 2, you couldn't bring it back at all. It just detected as far as it could reach. With the new 3, you can actually pull that back a little bit. So the ranges that you have are 5 to 15 feet, and then I believe it's 15 to 30. 30 feet and 30 feet is about the max range that it can go, which is really nice because if your door is pointing at the street and constantly picking up cars or people walking by, you just don't want all that extra white noise popping up on your phone because then you just kind of start ignoring the messages. If you can bring that back all the way to the five to 15 feet, that's really going to bring down any false notifications and can help you just determine when you get notified on the phone that there's somebody actually close to your door. In addition to the improved motion detection, it also can connect to the five gigahertz wireless connection, which can increase the speed and the reliability of these cameras. Now, if you're looking at the Doorbell 3 Plus, which is what I have, it has all the stuff we just mentioned, and the only additional thing that it adds onto it is pre-roll. So for an extra $30, you can get the four second pre-roll that is a part of this camera. Now, the one thing with pre-roll is that it says it shoots in black and white and at a lower resolution. Now, one thing to mention that I wasn't able to find until I actually got the camera is that it says that pre-roll does not work at nighttime. So if something happens at night and somebody walks up to your camera, it's just gonna work just like the three and the two worked where you're gonna miss the beginning of the video. But if it's during the daytime, you're gonna get this added pre-roll. It's four seconds and you can see somebody walking up to the door. Now I'll show you guys demos of this later in the video, but I thought I would mention that it does not work at night. All right, so here's everything that comes in the box. We've got the orange charging cable, screwdriver for installation. We have got wire extensions, also a drill bit to go into masonry, stone or brick or something like that. We've got the doorbell itself with the lighter faceplate, and then we've also got the darker faceplate here. We've got a bag of screws and anchors, and we also have another bag of screws and anchors over there too. We have got the battery, and we have got the bubble level, and then we have the two mounting wedges right here. All right, so now that we've talked about the differences of this video, the setup process is really easy to do. You're just gonna plug the battery into the camera, and then you're gonna click on Add Device in the app. 
You're just gonna walk through the on-screen instructions, which were really straightforward and easy to do. You just follow the steps, get your doorbell connected, and you're ready to install it. Now the install process is really easy. There's either two ways you can do it. You can connect it to the existing wiring of your house and remove your old doorbell, or since it's battery powered, you can essentially put it wherever you want to. So a couple of options for that is you can actually just attach it right to the front door, or you can put it on a side gate or a yard, or I mean, like I said, wherever you want to put it. If you've got a big courtyard in front of your house that has maybe a front gate and you don't want people coming into that, so you keep it locked, you can put the doorbell out there too, as long as the Wi-Fi can reach that far. Now, speaking of the Wi-Fi reaching that far, let's talk about the Chime. So I got the Chime Pro. What I like about the Chime Pro is that the Chime Pro connects to the 2.4 and the five gigahertz connection. So you can extend your five gigahertz connection if you need to. The regular Chime does not do that. It just does the 2.4 gigahertz, so keep that in mind. An addition to the Chime Pro is that it also has a built-in nightlight. Now, the experience with that nightlight is that nightlight is actually pretty bright. Here are some shots that um, I took with it installed in my house and you can see how bright that nightlight is. Now I've got this plugged into the island in the kitchen so it's a bit higher than maybe a normal outlet would be. Casting a bigger light, if you had this a little lower maybe it wouldn't be as bright as you're seeing it here. The one thing that I wish that you could do is I wish you could dim that light. I wish the light could get dimmer or you can adjust it. Um, unfortunately, there was not the option that I could find in the app. The light is just either on or off. Also, if it is sunny out, the light will turn off. As it gets darker, the light will turn on. So it'll automatically turn on and off. All right, so getting back to the installation process, and I just wanted to quickly talk about if you do decide to wire this camera up. If you do wire it up and you do have the proper voltage, going to the camera, it is going to charge the battery. So the battery will just stay topped off all the time. The doorbell three is also gonna use the additional chime, which is really nice because then you don't need to buy additional digital chimes and plug them around your house if you don't want to. Now that's always an option if you want that, but you don't have to do it. It'll use the one that's currently in your house, which I really appreciate. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the demo shots of the camera. So here are some demo shots with the video doorbell too. Oh, you think maybe they're on a walk? Uh-huh. I think she's on. Well, these are some muddy shoes. They're my shoes. And so her mom's like, well, she said she was okay, so then I left and I went to the bakery. So it's just like, is she in the right mind to make those decisions for herself right now? Yeah. And answers. Uh -oh. Now let's take a look at some demos from the Video Doorbell 3. This is an audio video test of the Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus. This is what it looks and sounds like. I'm about four feet away right now from the doorbell, but this is what it looks and sounds like on a beautiful sunny day. How does it look? This is an audio and video test of the Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus. How does it look and sound? This is completely dark outside, but this is what it looks like in complete darkness using the night vision. How does it look? All right, what did you guys think? You know, comparing the doorbell two to the doorbell three, you probably didn't see much difference because there was no difference. It uses the exact same 1080p two megapixel camera with the same audio. Everything is exactly the same with both of these cameras. Now I will say that I'm pretty disappointed with that. I mean, we've been waiting so long for them to come out with a new camera. They came out with actually two cameras, the three and the three plus, but yet they didn't improve the video at all. It's the same as the two. Now, when you're talking about other video doorbells out there, you've got 
Arlo with their new one-to-one -one aspect ratio. So you're seeing both the top and the bottom more. And you got also Eufy, that's also a battery powered doorbell. And that one is a 2K image. It's just really surprising to me that Ring didn't up their game when it came to video quality at all. I mean, looking at these cameras, I would probably not name them doorbell three, I'd name them doorbell two and a half. The only thing that they really improved was the Wi-Fi problems that they were having with the two and that they also added pre-roll to the camera. But to be honest, looking at that pre-roll, it's kind of junk. Like it's not even really worth it and it only works during the daytime. It doesn't even work at night. So it's kind of a feature that only works half of the time. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you happy with the new features that come with the three? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I plan on comparing this device to some of the competitors out there. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Well, that's all I have for this video comparing the Ring Video Doorbell 2 to the 3 Plus. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.